Closing arguments wrapped up in the courtroom for in the corruption trial of New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez and his co two co-defendants. The judge is now in the process of charging the jury. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is live at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan for an update. Alice. Christina Maurice, the judge started instructing the jury this afternoon, but they're not going to begin deliberations today. The judge will finish his instructions tomorrow morning, and the jury is expected to get the case sometime tomorrow before lunchtime. I'm going to step aside so we can zoom into the courthouse front doors here, just in case the senator or any of the other two co-defendants come outside. You know, when Senator Menendez walked in this morning, he was asked how he felt closing arguments went, and he said, quote, excellent. Much of the day today was spent on the prosecution's rebuttal. Closing arguments for the defense finished up this morning, as you mentioned, attorneys for all three co-defendants, including the senator, maintained the government did not prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt. Defense attorneys attempted to raise doubt in their arguments, but prosecutors today went in with that rebuttal, alleging Menendez gave information to Egyptian officials through his then-girlfriend, now his wife, Nadine Menendez. She will be tried separately because she's currently undergoing treatment for breast cancer. Prosecutors say that hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash, gold bars, they were found in the couple's home. Prosecutors say it was given to them by these three New Jersey businessmen in exchange for political favors. But defense attorneys maintain these items, they were gifts, they were good friends, it's nothing like that. Again, we're awaiting the senator to leave the courthouse right now along with his two co-defendants, those two other New Jersey businessmen. There's another, a third, Jose Uribe. He already pleaded guilty. He testified against them at trial. Again, the jury is expected to begin deliberations sometime tomorrow before lunchtime. Live outside a federal court in Lower Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay, Alice, thank you.